Many Democrats think they know how the rest of the world views President Trump. The president's actions have sparked global outrage and concern. The nations of the world will no longer look up to us. This uh, Trump regime, I don't call it an administration, I call it a regime. A cronyism at the highest levels uh, has many people in this country nervous and around the world as well. Wow. But our next guest says, think again. Wayne Allen Root just got back from Asia and says the president is actually a big hit overseas. Hmm. Here to tell us what he learned is the author of The Power of Relentless, Wayne Allen Root. Wayne, thank you very much for joining us this morning. So you've been traveling for two weeks, different parts of the world. What kind of reaction have you seen to our new president? Well, I'll tell you what. I was in uh, five countries, six cities, nine speeches over two weeks throughout Asia. And uh, again, you know, uh, Democrats will also tell you in America, Donald Trump is not well liked. But I think if you meet with business people in America, they'll tell you they love Donald Trump. I found the same thing to be true in Asia. My audiences were about 90 percent Chinese and about 10 percent Muslim. Mm. And they were all businessmen and women. And they liked Donald Trump and they're rooting for Donald Trump huh. and they're rooting for America because they realize that a rising tide lifts all boats. If the American economy does well, we're going to buy their products. They want us to do well. So you mentioned you talked to a number of Muslims interested in what they said about what's going on here with immigration and uh, the ban and the new executive order that we're waiting for. Well, they said a lot of things. You know, I, I had a chance after my speeches to, to meet with people up close and personal, and many of the Muslims told me, of course, they're, they're concerned and they're negative about a Muslim travel ban. They don't want America to ban Muslims. That issue they're not happy about. But in general, they were pretty happy about Donald Trump and his economic policies, and they were also shocked that in America, there are people who actually think illegals should stay here and shouldn't be deported. Mm. They were saying, we, as Muslims, want legal access to immigrate to America. Mm. We hope you will legally let us in, but we can't even believe that your Democratic Party there thinks that people are in America illegally have a right to stay. You have every right as a country to determine who comes in and who stays, and if someone's there illegally, to kick them out. So I was surprisingly, refreshingly thrilled with the response mm. of the people I spoke to who obviously think Democrats in our own country are a little bit crazy. Mm. Well, yeah, people seem to forget the Dow hit 21,000 this week uh, while you were traveling and on your way back here to America. Obviously, the markets here in the United States have been responding and responding positively. Well, they should. I'm a businessman, and I know that uh, Reagan created a great economy. I became a self-made millionaire in my 20s leaving Columbia University in 1983 under the Reagan regime, he was fabulous. And all it was was lower taxes, much lower taxes, and lower regulations, less government, more power to the people. And I've been the one who's argued on Fox News since the day Trump announced. I said, this guy's going to win. He's going to be a great president. He's going to be our Reagan. He's going to cut taxes. He's going to cut regulations. And what's he done in his first month and a half? Everything that he ever promised to do, he's doing. Don't trust any poll that says people don't like him in America or out of America. Anyone with a brain could tell you, here's the first politician yep. of our lifetime who's doing exactly what he promised. Sure. Less taxes, lower regulations, kill Obamacare. Every businessman should be thrilled Guys, did you catch with that, Donald Trump. Did you catch that breaking news in there? Wayne said that in his 20s, he was a self-made multimillionaire. Yeah, I, I met him. That. He was in Washington for the inaugural. I met him for the first time. I had no idea he was a self-made millionaire. Next time I see you at the Palm, the stake is on you, buddy. He's buying. Yeah. Right. Uh, thank you, Ed. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. That's Good awesome. No, I think the Wayne, point about American leadership and being it being welcomed as opposed to mm -hmm. opposed is a pretty interesting one. Totally different point yeah. of view. Interesting to have it. Really interesting.